so Bernie, somebody mentioned that Bernie actually won. Uh, no, I think you mentioned he he won amongst all women, and apparently the media is even trying to spin this. That I mean, have you seen the spin? It's it's apparently going through through Twitter from uh, media outlets. How do you spin him winning amongst women of all ages? How do how would you? Well, I also just tweeted you. I also just tweeted you that he won overwhelmingly in all income brackets except for that two hundred thousand and over, which went for Secretary Clinton. Um, he won, you know, all the other income brackets too. So, so I mean, how do you spin it? You spin it because you're you're committed to that narrative, right? Chris oh, Matthews, no, no. let's just spin it all out. I don't mean the go one. Go 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 go. Hang on, I'm gonna share. I'm gonna share your image that you wanted to show. Um, and and then go ahead. Not the not the why. I know why, but how how would they even? I don't understand. I can't imagine how they, how they do it because they are so wet. This is so pathological, right? Because you know we had the issues with Obama in 2008. Oh, he's just not ready. Oh, he's this. Oh, he's that. But this just goes even so much farther because Bernie is like hitting at the root of all evil for the for the most part. And so many people, their personal connections, their lives, their careers are so rooted in the same system that he's trying to take down. So. They are going to fight tooth and nail. And Rachel Maddow, girl, I loved you. Like, I mean, I probably would turn for you, but, like, she's disappointing me right now. She does not push back. She does not correct any of the fallacies that are on her show. And it's really disheartening and disappointing. And and they all do it. And I don't know if my dad said it earlier this evening. I had to go see my dad earlier. And he said, well, I don't know if that new MSNBC, when they were kicking, getting people, kicking people off the station, if they had to put some stuff in their clauses. But... Some, they're, they're all acting funny now, and I agree. It's just something, the media is doubling down. It's just like it's us against them, mm -hmm. and they don't seem to understand that, you know, we're not, we're not, yeah, he was. And so we're not, we're not trying to, I mean, I'm not here, you know, for any of this other stuff going on. I'm here for revolution. People say, well, you can't vote for revolution. Revolution, right. you can have revolution of ideas. You can have revolution in so many different ways. So let's stop trying to nitpick and, and, and poop on people's dreams and, 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 and motives Let me and jump with the program. There. Let me jump in there because what the hell are you waiting for? Are you waiting for a violent revolution against the United States of America? Good luck with that, right? People sit around saying the tele you know, the, the revolution, we're waiting on the revolution. If your revolution, the Reagan revolution, if yes. If it's anything outside of using the American structure against itself, then you are waiting. You might as well be waiting on Jesus to come back. Uh, so when it happens, I'll I'll be there. I'll be ready. But when it happens, let me know because you're not going to overthrow the government. You're not going to have a violent revolution. You're not going to get enough guns to over. No, you can only have a revolution in America. Through the American system, because there's nobody. I mean, really, who's going to be an existential threat to America? Anyway, moving on. We're not on the left. One more thing. Left on the left. One one more thing. People Dave. don't realize. Dave. People don't realize the power that we have every four years to do whatever we want. Yep. People don't realize that we we can make anything happen and. Here we have people settling for oh you know she she'll just keep us she'll just keep us on the track run we'll have a president who's going to get things done you know not make a change that everybody wants to see that's that's what that we're, that's what really gets me we have the chance and we don't take it because we just want to, we just want to stay on that steady plane you know I'm absolutely sorry. I have to cut that tree down I'm sorry Benjamin uh, every four years that's not good enough. We have one of the highest uh, voter turnouts uh, in Scandinavia, in, in, uh, in Germany, and in England, uh, in, in all democracies all over the world. And we turn out every four years, in some cases every two years. And we have still gotten the short end of the stick. We've still gotten Reaganomics. We still have weakened unions. We still have protect weakened protections of consumers and of environmental. We still got the European Union. No one in the, the, uh, within the European Union actually wants it anymore other than the Eastern Bloc countries and a few Gaga countries in Western Europe. And we still get erosion of our sovereign rights and our state laws and protections from the EU, but also on a national level. So no, every four years is not good enough. Every two years is not good, but good enough. When democracy worked in Athens, in the Greek city-states, it was because the citizenry participated once 
a week at the town square. If we want to take democracy serious, that is the level of engagement we have to get just at least close to. I mean, give me once a month at least. Okay. Sign a petition once a month. Write your congressman once a month. Come on, just anything other than putting years between. That's how the media could stop informing us because they found out we didn't care, and that is how the money took over. Well, okay. Well, and, and, but in fairness, in fairness, I, I hear what you're saying, and and I think that's exactly what what Sanders is trying to do is to get us politically engaged more than once every four years. But back to what Hank was saying, Hank is what Hank is saying is absolutely tr is absolutely correct. A revolution in terms of rewriting everything that is all of the annals of power, right? The, from the White House down to your governor's seat, you only have that opportunity once every four years and then once every two years for your representatives. And so what he's saying is we do have a chance of, of, of and I don't want to go so far off into the tangent that we miss what he was saying. Don't negate the power that we have to rewrite what we are doing and we have from the president's yeah. from the White House down to your mayor we have the yeah. ability to do that at a minimum at a minimum of four uh, once every four years but I also agree that you know we need to be participatory every single week what I'm trying to say is that illusion is keeping us down that it's only every four years and we can go into no, no, the I understood, I understood, I understood, we, um, uh, Nis, I understood exactly what you're trying to say and I, I just want to make sure I want to make sure that we don't negate negate what uh, what Hank was trying to say but I think you both I, are, I, are correct hang on one second um, I want to move on to uh, to something else here